People deluded, I'm back again. I hope you're all doing well and safe. Please make sure you hit the like button. Please make sure you subscribe. Like I said, I hope you're all doing well and safe. Now, it's not been a, a, a positive weekend for Arsenal in relation to our first team. As you know, we lost to Southampton. Our under-23 slaughtered Brighton 5-0. And, you know, our under-18s, like our 23s, they followed their lead and put in a fantastic performance in the equivalent North London derby at under-18s level. Arsenal's under-18s defeated Tottenham Hotspur or the Tottenham Hotspur counterparts four goals to one and it had everything there was even a bit of handbags and whatnot from Spurs you know it's a proper North London derby um, I'm proud of my boys purely because first and foremost it's a bit of revenge you know they smacked us up I think by the same scoreline in the under 17s Premier League Cup this week as well so it's almost a quick little bit of revenge and we know Spurs have a number of good players Niall John, Der um, Dermy. A left back whose first name is Dermy. I can't remember his name, but he can play at left and right back. They've got some quality dotted around. Dane Scarlett as well. Like you've seen, he's he's made his debut despite being 16 or 17 odd, made his debut at first team level. So Tottenham have a number of good players, very good players. You know, we've played them a number of times. You know, we know what they're about. We know what this fixture is about. So I'm happy to see that every one of our players risk to the occasion. Even Hubbard, the keeper who came on in the came on for the second half, he made a number of big saves. I don't think we was really troubled by Spurs. Saying that, I'm jumping ahead a bit. Second half, they put us under a bit of pressure as they tried to chase the game as they would. Um, there were a couple moments they probably should have done better. Um, but after that, and obviously we conceded a goal. And the manner we conceded a goal, it was against the run of play. There are things we can improve. You know, those are the things we can move forward with. But in relation to the positives, I love this level because you can see the togetherness. I like these players. They start strong half the time. And if they don't, they react well. You know, you can see... Look, at, at right back, you know, he's on it today. I think Mizzi uh, uh, Gongbo can never pronounce his name. Centre half who can play at left back. He had a very good game in that game as well. Paterno screening, Muro in the trenches, Amari Hutchison, he scored and you know what he's on, you don't lack with him. Kiddo Taylor Hart as well, you know what it is, what time it is. Nathan Butler Adeje put in a shift in, put a shift in up front as well. Really impressive. Mon Luis, Zayn Mon Luis, he scored. He had a complete performance, you know, I think he defended well, he brought the ball out from the back well, his decision making was good. Obviously he scored, that's the icing on top of the cake. There's some talented players at under 18s level, of course they're not all going to make it at Arsenal but I think they can all have good careers and I, I love I love watching this level man I'm really impressed from, with what I've seen from them people um, obviously I think we started the game well I think largely I think Spurs or anybody that watched it would agree you know we had Spurs 11 men in their own half it was all us we had all the ball and what you want to see like our, you don't see with us at first team level is turn possession and keep ball into goals goals can turn into points because you can have as much you can have 70 odd percent possession the other team have one chance they score they can nick it this is what these boys need to read need to realize especially as they go on i'm sure they want to play at 23's level go out on loan or play for arsenal football's a results business and this is what these under 18 first year scholars near enough have to learn apart from nathan kiddo hubbard and maybe a couple of others off my head there was a lot of first year so this is what they need to learn you know, we did well to take the lead. Amari, Amari Hutchison is buzzing like a bumblebee. He's linking up, linking up play well on the on the right hand side. He's drawing fouls. He, uh, you know, he warns you. You know, he always warns you that he's gonna cut in, and it was so easy to read. Not by not because he made it obvious. It's just you could see in his eyes he was a man determined. And you know, there was a couple of times throughout the game. I think he even should have had a couple of assists because he's cut in and laid it perfectly on the plate. And we haven't done well enough. Like there was some, like Nathan had a chance he probably should have scored. We had a couple of other half chances. We could have added even more daylight generally throughout this game. But obviously Amari nice is us. He cuts in, he puts it home. He cuts in off the right hand side onto his favoured left. No chance. Forget about it. You know, and he, he, you know what Amari Hutchinson's on. He's a talented young player that's going places. I'm, and I'm happy that him, Mon Louise, Bro um, Brooke at right back, um, Paterno, I imagine Flores as well. All these men are tied down now with their first year, first pro deals. There's still a lot of work to be done with other players, but you get the point. I think we're doing well. You know, like I said, we've taken the lead. We started strongly, strongly, stronger than, than, than Spurs and we've got a goal to match. But the thing is, as you lot know, 1-0 is a dangerous lead and, you know, these players have, you know, these players have to take heed because that is true. We had a bag of chances, really didn't put them away and, and create more daylight. Spurs had one opportunity opportunity you know really and truly they had a couple other half chances and they did kind of flutter um kind of kind of rustle um, um 
Russell us up a bit in some occasions. But, you know, their goal comes against the run of play. It's a counter-attack. It's a fantastic goal. I can't even remember the Spurs lad's name. I wrote it down. Where is it, man? Um... I can't even I can't even find it. My notes should my, it should be it should be on my notes, people. Either way, you know, there's no disrespect to the Spurs fans, but um, or, or the players. But either way, Spurs made it one one, and it was a it was a kick in our teeth. Apologies, people. I'm actually mixing things up. Mon Luis scored our first goal as well, people. It was a set piece. Mon Luis tapped in the rebound. I can only really remember Amari Amari Hutchinson's goal because that's the only one I can remember. So yeah, sorry for confusion. As I said. Mon Louis scored the first goal, people. It was a set piece. He tapped it in after, you know, it looked like a Spurs lad slipped, but it's no problem. Then, obviously, Spurs scored against the counter-attack. And Amari, just before half-time, got us back into the game or put us ahead, you know, with cutting in. And for me, this is the lessons we need to learn. You know, we've got ourselves back in. It is 2-1. Really, we should have made this 3-4-1. It's not that Spurs are out of the game, but we could have put them out of it. And we've given them a glimmer of hope. So, second half now, we need to start strongly. You know, I do think Kiddo and Amari, they're playing, they're doing all right. But I do think there's a lot more to come in this game from Kiddo Taylor Hart as well. And, you know... He does exactly what Amari does, you know, very early on into the second half. He cuts in this time off the left onto his favoured right, reverses Amari cut from the right onto his left. And he puts it home from a Spurs point of view. You could see what he wants to do. They're not getting near him. It's a fantastic effort. And so early on into the first half, second half, apologies, to get that bit of daylight again, you know, to score a goal, to go into, you know, if we went in at halftime at 1-1, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the manager might have been livid because it shouldn't be that. So after, after obviously, Mon Louis scoring the first goal and them getting the equaliser between Amari making us go into halftime with the lead and, and Kiddo cementing that, I'm very impressed with, with my wide men and what they gave me in that regards. You know, Ogombo as well did very well at left back and he scored the last goal as well in the game. People in extra time added on time, whatever, towards the end of the game. Um, again, you know, it's a poor goal to con it's a poor goal to concede from Spurs. It's a good finish from him, and I think he deserves it. You know, he done very well got getting down that left hand side, that left hand channel and providing an option, people. You know, what can I say? Anytime you beat Spurs is a W. We've beaten Spurs. It's a North London derby. You know, encouraging performance from everybody. Can't really pick a the man of the match. You know, I think everybody played well. But I think Agongbo deserves his praise. I think left back, he locked it down. He got forward. He done very well in that regards. And, you know, it was it, it's, it's, it was, it was a case of... It, it's really... I really love watching these players, man. Because I think they're going to... A couple of them are going to have careers, people. You know, really and truly. Again, it's the same usual suspects. And I'm happy to see that we get revenge on them for obviously taking us out of the under 17s Premier Cup. I'm happy to see players go from strength to strength. I think Mon Louise is going to have a great future. He really is a classy centre half. And it's the usual suspects. You hear me say the same names each and every time, really and truly. I really, the under 18s, you know, the 23s got some talented players, but these under 18s, I genuinely feel if we was to look back, there's going to be a couple that progress at Arsenal by God's grace. And there's going to be majority are going to go off and have good careers elsewhere. And it makes me proud to see this and kind of know this as an Arsenal fan. So in relation to the game against Spurs, you know, three points, I'm not going to complain. But in relation to my review, that's all I've got to say. On that note, though, I'm going to get out of here. It's always a pleasure. People deluded. I'm out.